Oh, Papa. Don't go to work. Stay with us, please. Don't we? Papa, stay. Your father must go to work, children. But Papa, everyone at school says a monster has moved into the park. What monster? We don't want it to hurt you, Papa. I am sure there is no monster in the park, Lord. So I know it cannot hurt me. And even if there were, your father and I would think of a way to outsmart it. What a beautiful night. The moon is full and the park is peaceful. <gasps> what was that? Fromage! <laughs> Suddenly, the park is not so beautiful anymore. Hello? Is anybody there? <laughs> Goodbye! Papa! Everyone said they heard strange noises in the park. Who said? Some little thief has robbed me of my hat. And I have caught her. Here, Papa. Do not be worried, ma chérie. Monsters only live in stories, not in parks. <laughs> there is a monster in the park! <gasps> See? Gaston, do not frighten the children like that. The children? I am frightened! This, this monster is big! It makes loud noises! Loud eating noises! Gaston, it is one thing for children to speak of monsters, but a full-grown mouse! What, what full-grown mouse? You. Oh, well, this, this, this full-grown mouse has seen the monster. Its huge shape, crushing bushes, making l l loud noises. Don't no, go! Stay. Don't we? Please stay. Do not worry, little one. I will be fine. Um, I, I, I will stay here to protect the children if the monster should come this way. As you wish. If you are there, monster, Anatole is coming and I am not afraid. I hope the monster doesn't eat you, Anatole. He sounded very hungry. Please go with Papa. In case he needs help. I was only joking. The monster won't eat the great Anatole. What if it tries? And Papa will be all alone. Um, an idea is popping into my head. I have just realized that Anatole may need help if the monster tries to attack him. And who better to help? Than his best friend. Never fear, children. Gaston will protect your Papa. Anatole, wait for me. Yay! Yay! All right, children. It is time to finish your school projects on wood. Those are the bushes where I saw the monster. Everything looks calm enough now. Come, let us go look at them. No, no, no. We, we, we. You will see it was all in your imagination. <sighs> Georgette, why aren't you working on your school project? Because I don't know what to do, Mama. Well, you must decide what to do soon or you will not have enough time to finish it. Look, Mama! <laughs> <laughs> Mama! <laughs> the glue is giving you trouble. I will help you clean yourself up, Claude. <sighs> I must think of something to do soon. But what? See, Gaston, all quiet and peaceful. That doesn't sound peaceful. Run! They are only noises, Gaston. Noises made by a monster. What kind of monster just makes noises? A loud one. <gasps> it is true.
Claudette, there are no such things as monsters. It came from that way. Papa! Let us go see if he and Gaston are all right. Everyone come. I do not want to leave you home alone. But stay behind me. Oh, thank goodness for this rock. That is easy for you to say. It did not bump you on the head. Something has been chewing this tree. A monster that eats trees is a monster to stay away from. <gasps> the monster is back! <laughs> It's Doucette. The monster is Doucette? Oh, Anatole, you are safe. And Gaston? I'm here. I, I, I just dropped something. Children! Father! Yes, luckily I saved your father from certain doom. I am fine, but we must be careful. I think something definitely is in the park. The monster! We do not know if it is a monster, but it made this tree fall over. Anatole! It's coming! No, that had a sound of metal. It came from that direction. Come, children, stay behind us. Oh, you poor tree! I know what to do for my school project. It is a metal trap. <gasps> Something is inside. are you? Natalie. I am Anatole. This is my wife, Doucette, my children, and this is my friend, Gaston. You are not a monster, are you? No, I'm a beaver. I read about beavers. They live in the water and build dams. Then what are you doing here? I escaped from a petting zoo. I was so unhappy there. But a man set this trap to catch me. Why were you unhappy? I miss my home and, and my friends. I see what we have to do, Doucette. We must get Natalie back to her home. Could you? My home is in Canada. Canada? Anatole, this is an impossible task. Canada is... it's very far in... North America! You took the words right out of my mouth. First things first, we must get Natalie out of the cage. But do you know how you will move a beaver across an entire ocean, Anatole? No, Doucette. But I do know that where there is a will, there's a way. Bon, please take the children home. Gaston and I must get to work. Can you really get me out of here? My fine beaver friend, if anyone can do the impossible, it is Anatole. With my help, of course. Gaston, when I count to three, I will pull the rope and you will lift the cage door. Are you ready? Oui, mon ami. Un, deux, trois. She is out, Anatole. You may relax now. Ah, whoa! Whoa! This is no time for games, Anatole. I'm not playing games. But tell me something, Gaston. What, mon ami? What are you doing in the cage? Ah! Don't worry, I'll help you. Bon. 
Then in the morning, we shall look for a way to get you back to Canada. Children have worked hard on their projects. Their teachers will be very happy. Oh dear. Georgette has not done a thing. All she has is this thimble of dirt. Her teacher will not like this. I would like to know what she is thinking. Anatole! Where are we going? We cannot walk the streets of Paris with a beaver. It is elementary, Gaston. When you are in a strange land, there is one place that always helps you. The embassy of your country. But I don't know where the Canadian embassy is located, M Monsieur Anito. Neither do I, Nathalie. However, I know how to find out. I am certain my trap caught the beaver, but someone let it go. You smell the beaver's trail, Pistou? The petting zoo will pay me handsomely if I catch it. Show me the way to go, and I will give you a nice biscuit. Good dog. Ready? Yep. Ah, now, I need to look for the Ambassade Canadienne. A, B, C. I have found it! <laughs> Where is it, Anatole? Across the Seine, on the other side of Paris. Le fromage! It is a long distance. How will we get there? <gasps> it's the man who set the trap in the park. He's after me. And if he is after you, he is after us. Canadian embassy before that man catches us. Run! <laughs> we cannot run all the way to the other side of town. The dog is getting closer. <laughs> If only we could swim! Did somebody say swim? <laughs> Monsieur, a beaver lives to swim! Now it's my turn to help you! the way to travel. We shall be at the embassy in no time. I'll get you yet. Before you go to school, I would like to see your school projects. Me oh, first! Yes. I don't think Georgette has a project, Maman. Yes, I do. See? It is supposed to be about what? That's just a thimble of dirt. You might think it's just a thimble of dirt. But I know I have a good idea, and I will show you. I look forward to hearing your idea, Georgette. Now, everyone, get ready. They are having a party. We can never get inside now. Wrong, my friend. The party will help us to get in. Have you ever worn a ball gown, Natalie? Huh? Aha! This is what I have been hoping for. Quickly, 
Everyone, get under the gown. And I think wood is important because it is used to make toys like this wooden airplane I made. Thank you. Bravo. Very good boy. I'll go next. I think wood is important because it is used to make things we really need, like houses and furniture and this box I made to put things in. See? Magnifique. Me next. Georges? I made this ping pong paddle to show that there are a lot of sports to play that use wood. Watch. <laughs> oh, Georges. Whoa. There's the ambassador's office. Follow me. Where are we? The office of the Canadian ambassador. I need to get on top of the desk. Going up, please. Whoa! <laughs> I will write a note so the ambassador will help Nathalie. Now, Georgette, why don't you show us your good idea? <laughs> <laughs> don't laugh. Everyone knows that wood comes from trees. In this thimble is a seed, which will grow into a big tree. The most important thing is to plant trees. Then we will have all the wood we need. She's right. That is a good idea. Otherwise, there wouldn't be any trees. And then what would we do? Ooh, ha! Magnifique! Well done, Georgette. I am so proud of you, Georgette. Have you finished the note yet? Almost, mon ami. Anatole, someone is coming. Hi! Durnford, did you see where I put my speech? I believe you left it on the coffee table, Madam Ambassador. Odd. I don't remember having two statues here. This one is very realistic. Oh, amazing. It smells real, too. And the fur feels... <laughs> like fur. <laughs> <laughs> comes the moment of truth. Show this to the ambassador. Look, it's holding a note. Hmm. Dear ambassador, this is a Canadian beaver who wants nothing more than to go home and live in peace. Please make that happen. Merci. So, you want to go home? I don't blame you. I'm going back to Canada next week, and I'll take you myself. You'll be back in the wild before you can say, Vive Anatole! And as she is flying to Canada today for her vacation, the ambassador will bring the homesick beaver with her and return it to its natural habitat. That must be done now. Au revoir, Nathalie! Bye bye! Mon ami. We must save this photo of Nathalie. I am very proud of you, Georgette, for getting such a good grade on your school project. You had a good idea and you stuck to it. And this tree will be used to make things like the paper for your newspaper. When we make decisions that we know in our hearts are right, then watch out, world, because there is no stopping us. Right, Georgette? Right, Papa.